Hello, 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 Beauty Squaller here, episode 294, and our Super Bowl hopes just got dashed because we do not have a starting quarterback anymore. He is hurt. He will be put on IR. We'll be picking up a backup quarterback, and I am looking at Jordan McWilliams, not the highest rated one, but he does have the um, closest for the highest short accuracy and throw power. So in a pinch, you can sit in the pocket and throw the ball short. So this is who we're gonna sign and then we're gonna put Groves on IR. Bummer man. That was a really just bad blow to us. Oops. Place on IR. Lions won the war. We won the battle, but they won the war. I'm so disappointed. Lewis McLaughlin can play. Facing the Giants. Ah. All right, here's our injury report. <clears throat> yep. And the Giants. Darren Mackey. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's look at the roster of the Giants. They beat us before, too. Dustin Crotman, Gage Arrington. This team is loaded. Oh, our right guard is missing. Joey Downs. Oh, and the linebackers hurt. Ooh. Take care of that middle linebacker spot, huh? Girl Drew. 81 speed. Oh. Oh, he's hurt too. Yikes, man. Yikes. All right, before we just start this, um, oh my goodness, NFC Championship game with uh, a backup quarterback who hasn't really played much ever. Um, drafted in 25, didn't play in 25, second round pick, 26, nothing, 27, uh, three for five. Then 108. So, played a little bit there. Nine touchdowns, ten interceptions. 29, two and three. And their big, his big year, his best year, 30, 31. There you go. Nine and four, nine touchdowns, four interceptions. Last year, one attempt, no completions. And this year, complete backup. We go to general. We can see that 20 snaps. Career backup, career clipboard holder here. Uh, it's actually you know, 25, 30 was out of football. 33 was out of football. Maybe on the practice squad in 25. So he's going to get the first half. And if it's not going well, I'm going to put the backup in. See if we can spark something. And uh, just simply try that. Um, hopefully Weathers can have a good game against this Giants team that's pretty talented. Pretty talented. Um, I'm looking. Dustin Crompton was the MVP. <coughs> Excuse me, MVP last year. 
We gotta mark that down. I haven't done that yet. And the coach, and they were the one seed, but they didn't win the Super Bowl because the Cowboys won the Super Bowl as the six seed against the Bengals as a six seed. So they did lose out. Didn't win, so I mean it is what it is. It is what it is. But what we're gonna do now is we're going to our draft tracker. We're gonna go over our picks that we have remaining on the team, starting with the first round picks. And our oldest first round pick was 2027. He actually might be like the, oh, no, there's a 2026. Yeah. 2027, who's fixed? Um, now 90 overall, got a B plus on the year. He was first in receptions with 75, third in yards with 787. Tied first with touchdowns with seven. He played the entire season. We're going to need him big time. Next first round pick was Lewis McLaughlin, who didn't play last week, but he was the number two pick overall in 2029. I gave him a B on the season. Um, 71 tackles. He had two interceptions, was tied second on the team which means that we just don't get many interceptions we have four forced four forced fumbles and that led the team so b for him um, we re-signed our next first round pick who was a 32nd overall pick in 2031 and that is mr stinson i gave him a b on his year 91 tackles which was third in tackles Pass defenses was tackles for a loss was seven. That was also third. So we got to be on the year. And then our next first round pick was in twenty nine, the 29th pick in thirty two. Church he got a B minus on the year. Yeah, sixty nine tackles, fifteen tackles for a loss, a sack and a half, first on tackles for a loss. So that's stopping a running back in the back of the field versus a quarterback. All right. You know, tackles for a loss. Sacks stopped a passing play from happening. Happening. A tackle for a loss stopped a running back from being able to gain whatever they average. So I know it's not as important, but you know, still, still a pretty good thing. Um, so next first round pick was 33, and that was the 20th pick overall, and that's the running back, Gilbert Weathers, and he got an A because he was. Pretty phenomenal. 1,800 yards, 1,861, 4.2 yards average. One fumble only. So he had five fumbles the first year. And um, he got the ball. He was on 888 snaps. He got the ball 440 times, which is almost half of the time. But when you conclude, include uh, receptions, he represented more than 50% of the Packers' offense. So he's going to have to represent... 75% of the Packers offense this time. <laughs> All right, so that's our... Then we had a 19th pick in uh, last year's draft, and that goes to Mr. Thon Vickers. Fix, I mean. Uh, he was first in pass defenses with eight and hit 87 tackles. So, um, he's 99 confidence. Wow. Confident. That's our first round picks that we have remaining. Now, we didn't have first round pick in every draft, but we had extras in some drafts. So, I count six active and 15 not active in 18 draft classes. So, we've actually averaged more than one first round pick with 30 being. The um, last one. So we're going to quickly go over Lamel Foreman, Neil Stallings, Juan Mixon, Asher Favors, Jerome Brazell, Vince Trent, Antonio Belovi was a bust, Benton Pettis, Len Struvad, Keelan Bibbs was a bust, Jabari Mack was a bust, Bronson Wallace was a bust. Sheldon Harden was a bust. Craig Billups was a bust. 
Emilio Gates was a bust. So yeah, there are some busty ones towards the tail end there for sure. And uh, like Craig Billis was the 17th pick overall, he just never... Jerome Brazil was number one. And he kind of like... I don't know. I don't know if he was as great. He was good. So that's our first round. Second round. Second round, so we got... The 2027 second round pick, not resigning, and that's Fish Picotti, and he struggled a little bit there. His speed is 90, so right on the edge there. But, uh, gave him a C minus, but he was first in the team with three interceptions. C plus, I mean. Darren Eccles was a free safety. We drafted him in 2029. He was a backup thing. He got an incomplete grade because he just didn't have enough things. Donald Groves, unfortunately, second round pick. He had a B plus on the year. We're going to miss him very wholeheartedly in this playoff game. It's a win. Don't get me wrong. Still a good team. Run ball. Russell Herbert was a defensive tackle. We took in the second round in 30. You guys got a C minus. We took Joel Harden. Jeffrey Lucky. You don't see him. He never came off of IR. He's a bust. We're not resigning him. Four incompletes in a row. We had strong safety Joel Harden. He was on practice squad two years. And then he was cut in the preseason, so he's a bust. Julian Pointer. Got a C. He's sitting. Here he actually got to start for a little bit last week because Laughlin missed the game. Marquise Betts, a running back. He's going to be the number two running back next year. He's sitting here. He got an incomplete grade. He didn't have enough. And second round pick, Basil Scott, last year. We had two second round picks. And Basil Scott worked out. He's an A minus. He's pretty good. Timmy Nielsen was a. Strong safety that got signed off our practice squad. And so we have 11 active second round picks. And we drafted 20 more. So 30, 31 second round picks in 18 drafts. Okay, second rounds are done. Third round, we're going. 2028 is our first one, and that is our fullback. And quite frankly, did not compared to the Seahawk one, he did not work out. It's only got a C here. Um, he's just an 82 overall. He's a decent fullback, but I was hoping for more. Grant Bordrick, oops, our third round pick. He's a starting right guard. He got a B plus. We had a tight end that's on the practice squad. Sean Braxton did not make it. Wide receiver got cut. Practice squad for a halfback. That's the only active third round picks we have on this team. So five. And 17. Five and 17 total. Fourth rounds that we have on the team. Now, some of these not resigning completes practice squad, you know, not actually active, but third round pick. The biggest one, 2026. Oh, no, fourth round. We're in fourth round, right? Yeah. Fourth round picks. 2026. That's our earliest one, was Madsen here. 76 overall when we drafted him. And uh, pretty solid. Having the B minus on the year, ten sacks given up. I just Haywood was another one fourth round pick. Dillard Phillips right here, fourth round pick. Julius Cash, safety, sitting right there. You know, as long as they're on this screen, pretty good. You know, Jimmy Ramson, incomplete grade. It's right there. That's it for the fourth rounds that are active on this team. That's five as well with 
20 not resigns. So 25 total. Fifth round, we got Case and Wims back up. Um, defensive tackle has been playing every position almost. And he is an incomplete grade because he didn't play too much. Marcus Favors, let's see him. He is a corner that, oh, got cut. Anyways, corner fifth round and the corner went out. You don't see him. He's on the practice squad. The kicker was a fifth rounder. I gave him a C. 85% completion rating. But they make him do stupid long kicks sometimes, like 59 yarders and stuff. So give him a C. Middle linebacker, Zach Lloyd. Cut in the preseason, so we don't see him. To Michael Waters right there. Got an incomplete grade, but he is the third linebacker. Took a seat center in the sixth. Oh, this is sixth round. So that's the fifth round. Up to Zach Lloyd, linebacker. So we've got, we got five active fifth rounders. And we drafted an additional 16 fifth rounders. Six rounders. All right. So Michael Waters, we talked about already. Center, backup center. Wade Conley, oh, he's not on the team. He was cut practice preseason. Uh, practice squad player for the punter, no merit. That's wrong. No, I don't know why that says that. It's supposed to be a C, and I don't know why he has. Gage, oh, that's it for six rounders. So three six rounders on the team. And we drafted 14 more, 17 total. So not even a six rounder on every one. Seventh rounder has two active ones. One was an incomplete right outside linebacker. Gage Eber on here. And then wide receiver that didn't make it through the scene. So there's just two beginning of the year. And Meaning drafted, ooh, let's see, we drafted 22. It was 24. So that's, that's that. Um, Ishpikati is uh, not being resigned, and he did become the most average cornerback right, on his team. I gave him a C plus, a C minus, a C, a C plus, a C plus. A C, a C, and a C plus for his thing. And uh, Jeffrey Lucky, the running back who was on injured reserve, incomplete, incomplete, incomplete. Four straight years of incomplete. Um, Jordan Matson got a B minus this year, but he was pretty good. Like I gave him a, a plus, a B, an A minus, an A minus, a B plus, B minus, an A, a C plus. So that was his week here. Now a B minus and Titus Haywood as the backup running back, either Vince Strength or Weathers. He got an incomplete, then a C, so he actually played enough to be starters 3.8 yards of carry. Incomplete, incomplete. For him, Julius Cash got an incomplete. He got a C prior, and that was because of kick returning and punt returning. And that's that's it. Um, we're gonna go start the game. I think. I think. I think this episode is gonna be very short. Um, we are gonna start the game in the next episode, but we are going to take a quick look at uh, our coach. I got 6,800 experience. I didn't really, uh, let's get some influence going and let's not do that. Get additional experience for the running back and for Hunter. Yep. 
we go. Yep, there he is. Got his 2000 legacy. Man, balanced offense, hybrid defense. Can we take out the New York Giants? Let's find out in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Beauty Squalor signing off. Bye.